Thank you for tuning in to the Maryland Doubles Crokinole Championship, a Tier 2 National Crokinole Association event. As players share fist bumps around the table in this semifinal match, let's introduce our teams. On your left, we have the Curd Brett, Michael Barth from the Windy City Crokinole Club, and Jamie Harder from the Point Crokinole Club. And they'll be facing off against the Tracy family, Garrett and Jeremy. To know more about these teams, watch our overview video. But with that, let's get to the action. This is a race to seven points, and players will volley to see who decides who gets first hammer. Team Tracy wins the volley. Jeremy making a definitive call that they will have the hammer in the first round. Jamie to open up and going a little bit long. Maybe a follow through opportunity and Jeremy pushing a little bit strong. That disc isn't quite close enough for a drop back. Barth rolling way to a very nice spot. Tracy rolls it right between the posts, getting the nod of approval from Father Tracy. And that was enough to get an error out of Jamie. A potential open 20 here for Jamie, taking full advantage of that opportunity, now up in the cup with the hammer. Michael tapping the disc from outside the post, leaving his in a difficult spot. Garrett sees something through Hogan's, loses his shooter in the process. Jamie left with this shot again, the disc a little bit further in this time. Able to get the off, very nice. Jeremy considering his options. Looks like he'll be taking it through the center lane. And oh, nice 20. I didn't think that was there. Very nice shot from Jeremy. Barth coming up short. We see the Rafferty's from the Triangle Crokinole Club passing through. A few people headed out now. We're a little bit past five. This tournament started around 10 a.m. So seven hours of Crokinole. We're nearing the end, but the final competitor is now up. The Tracy's up, 220's in the cup now. Jeremy losing his shooter. Barth taking full advantage of that opportunity, starting to catch up in the cup. We're halfway through the shots now, but still plenty of time for the Curd Brats to catch up. As I understand, their team name was inspired by their respective cities. Snacks or delicacies, cheese curds, and bratswurts. Again, Michael Barth is from the Windy City Crokinole Club, and Jamie Harder is from the Point Crokinole Club. Both of those are tagged in the description below. I highly recommend you check out those clubs. Barth not quite able to get the off, but leaves his disc in a tricky spot. Garrett able to get it, but again, losing his shooter, seeming to have difficulty with those discs further away from him. Jamie peeling, Tracy with an open 20 opportunity. Unable to capitalize. Barth now with the opportunity to balance out the cup. And he gets it. And I think the scoreboard's a little bit behind. Yeah, Garrett just needed that valid shot. I'm gonna have to talk to the editor. We see that nice roll away and the nod of approval from Tracy. And that 20 he got from that nice leave. We also see this beautiful angle in. See this backboard from Michael. It's able to balance out the cup in the end. Just off by 10 points. Tracy to open up, coming up short. Barth with a nice roll away, leaving his disc in a difficult spot. Garrett opting to just push a little bit. And Jamie with a beautiful 20. Now the Curd Brats with a strong advantage right now. They do have Hammer. Jeremy was able to balance out the cup, but Barth making sure the team holds that lead. Garrett going long. Not super close to the 20, but still a mistake. Jamie, very nice push, but may have left an opportunity. Jeremy unable to capitalize. Barth pushing in a little bit. Looks like Garrett's debating a touch. They do need to catch up and unable to get it. That's why touch 20s can be so costly. If you mess them up, you don't get the off and you don't get a 20. And especially when you're down, that can, that can really hurt. Michael and Jamie now with two discs on the board. Up a 20. The Tracys have 
a fair bit of work to do if they want to catch up and redeem this round. Barth, very nice roll away. I don't know if he was going for a 20, but he hasn't left anything nice here for Garrett. And if that roll away was intentional, that was that was gorgeous. There's not a nice double here. Jeremy's pointing that out. I think Garrett was uh, looking for it, but Jeremy, the more veteran, knew otherwise. Garrett opting for just the one-off. Jamie demotes the blue disc down to the five. Unable to get the off, but certainly not bad here. And Jeremy trying to push through, doesn't quite get it. Michael could really make this hurt. He debates playing to the outside now, but there is that hanger opportunity. The main discussion would be if he doesn't get it, might leave Garrett an opportunity to catch up. Looks like he's gonna go for it. And he gets it. That hurts, only three shots for each team's left. There's not a lot that Jeremy and Garrett can do at this point. And nice double from Jamie. Oh, comes up short, and I believe that is it. If Barth gets this off, they will have solidified this round, and they do it. Very nice. Jamie and Michael will be taking the second points of this round, bringing the score 2-2. Two to two. We'll flip over now to some highlights, and Jamie and Michael tore it up. We saw this right off the bat. Jamie's beautiful angle in. A few backboards from Michael. Again, he was making every mistake hurt. In this double here, that really helps solidify that at the very end. And now we are tied up. Michael to shoot first, going long. I'd say a fortunate mistake between the posts there. Garrett deals with it, keeping his in the 15. Now the Tracys do have hammer, so somewhat beneficial to the curb brats. That play is still on the inside. But Tracy doing a nice job to, at the very least, keep play between the posts. And that blue disc could be very nicely posted there. Michael able to deal with it, but leaves an opportunity for Garrett. And he's able to capitalize. Doesn't get the off, but doesn't quite need it either. Jamie bounces out the cup. Very nice. Now tied in 20s. Still some pressure on the Tracys. Michael looking for his best angle to get this blue disc off. Debating which side is the best to come through. Oh! You can tell from Jeremy's expression, that was deadly. Good bid from Michael Barth, as a Canadian would say. Jamie coming from the outside. Looks like he was trying to push through, but caught the post. Jeremy now with an open 20 opportunity and goes too long. Michael can make this sting, comes up short. Garrett taking a second to confer with Jeremy. I think he was tempted by that angle and opportunity. Offs a hit and stick and leaves that blue disc in not the most challenging spot, but pretty close to the post. And an error out of Jamie. This could really sting. We'll see if Jeremy's able to correct. And not quite, lips out a little bit long and maybe a backboard opportunity here for Barth. And he gets it, very nice. Now he didn't get the off with it. Barth and Harder are up a 20, but there's three blue discs on the board. And the Tracys do have hammer. Now, thing is, that black disc is in a very inconvenient spot. Tracy discussing his best lane to deal with that. Very skinny line through there. But going through the middle, I'm not sure he'll be able to get that black disc off. Some discussion. Looks like he'll be going through the middle lane and loses his shooter. Able to demote the black disc at the very least. But still, this... This is starting to get a little bit more messy as we come down to the final shots for each player. Barth also unable to get the off. Tracy and Jeremy. Garrett and Jeremy, they're both Tracys. Take some time to consider. It looks like Garrett will just be trying to get the off there. Very nice and careful not to bump his own blue disc. 
as we are in the situation, the Tracys are up 10 points total. Those two discs in the 10 cancel out. Two blues in the 15. I don't think either of those are touching the line. Even if one of them was, it'd still be up five points. And oh, that just about seals it. The Curd Brats are up five points on the board. So Tracy just needs to bump something off, which he does. The Tracys will take the third round of this match, bringing the score 42. See that nice touch 20 and this nice lead from Garrett, which got a mistake out of Jamie. But we also see Michael taking advantage of every opportunity he has been left. Barth has been absolutely deadly. Every time Jeremy's left something, Michael has capitalized on it. Jamie coming up a little bit short now. The Curb Rats do have Hammer in this match, but they're now down a 20. So a little bit of pressure on them to get a mistake out of Team Tracy. Garrett taking some time to reset and able to get the off. Tough chance here for Jamie. Able to deal with it. Sticks between the posts on the far side from Jeremy. And Jeremy tries bouncing back off the post, but instead just leaves a chance for Barth. Barth unable to get it. Looks like a heavy hanger, but Garrett might be able to capitalize on this. Oh, loses his shooter. Now one blue and one black disc on the board. I think that blue is on the line, and Jamie will be trying to carve in on this. Loses his shooter also. Jeremy hitting and sticking on the far side of the board. It'll be up to Garrett to either get in or get away. Garrett looks like he's trying to roll to the side. Jeremy instead suggests sticking between the posts, but Garrett leaves the door open. Jamie looked like he was a little bit offline, but able to get into the 15. Tracy leaving play on the far side of the post from Barth. Barth trying to catch a post, just not quite enough strength. And oh, that could hurt. We'll see if Jamie can make this sting with the open 20 opportunity. And he does. Now tied in the 20s cup. One black disc on the board. And Jamie and Barth do have hammer. So Michael, very nice roll away. Ops to keep play on the outside. And that looks like a somewhat tricky spot for Garrett. We've seen Garrett struggling with these shots, but he's able to hit and stick on this one. But Jamie makes short work of that, and it'll be up to Jeremy to put any real pressure on Barth. If he gets the off in the 20, which would be most ideal, that's the only situation I see that any real pressure will be on Michael. And yeah, he goes for the follow through. That's really all the options he had. If Barth can even demote this and stay in the 15, he takes it off, and that's all the Curd Brats needed to bring the score. 4-2-4 four, four now, up by 10 points on the board there. See Jamie capitalizing on Garrett's mistake. We see that beautiful roll away from Michael. Great strategy there, keeping play to the outside in that final little bit. Jamie lipping out of the 20. Jeremy taking some time to consider his best course of action. Gets a decent roll away. That disc is certainly not in a friendly spot to deal with. Barth should be able to get the off. And yeah, sticks his button right between the posts. Garrett sticks right there, leaving Jamie with a difficult off here. Forced to shoot between the posts. And Jamie unable to get the off. I think he was trying to catch a post there to bounce back for something. And now play firmly on the outside. The Tracys with Hammer. If they can hold on to this positioning, they will be in a very good spot. Pressure is on Jamie and Michael to get play back to the center. Michael for now opting to go for that further disc. Maybe hoping to hide on Garrett, but Garrett makes short work of that. Jamie now, that may have been what they were looking for. That is a very nice spot. 
especially with that blue disc blocking the typical lane, and they get that mistake out of Jeremy. Team Kurt Bratt certainly not out of the woods yet, but now with Garrett leaving that disc on the board, they could be in decent positioning right now. They've got 25 points on the board total. Jeremy and Garrett will either be looking for a double or a 20 at some point. Because this is getting a little bit risky at this point. There seems to be some kind of distraction, but Michael quickly resetting. Making easy work of that blue disc. Looks like Garrett trying to hide. Doesn't quite roll away to the opportune spot, but still not an easy get for Jamie here. Jamie able to get the off, staying in the 15. Jamie and Michael currently have 30 points on the board. And we're just about down to the final shots for each player. Three discs left for each team. Michael will be going through his own to get that blue disc. And oh, doesn't get the off. Now this is interesting. I don't know if that black disc there is on the line. Jeremy suggesting a hit and a roll away from that definitive 15. And Garrett leaves that blue disc in a tricky spot, mainly because there's so much traffic on the board, blocking an easy off there. Jamie guaranteeing that one disc is in the 15. I'm guessing that must have been on the line, and Jamie's done a good job promoting that. And Jeremy able to get that off, putting some real pressure on Barth. The Tracys are up 10 points on the board as it stands. Unless that black disc got demoted back down to the 10. I can't tell if it's touching the line, but I'm thinking Michael either needs the off in the 20 or a double and stay in the 15 to put any real pressure on Garrett here. See what he's able to do. Ah, I think, I want to say he was hunting for that double, just didn't get quite the right angle. Jeremy just pointing out that far five. All Garrett needs to do is hit that off. It doesn't matter if his stays on. That black disc is on the line and that blue is still in the 15 region. So the Tracys will win by five points. Very nicely done by Garrett. Going to the final round now. Tracy's are up, waiting for that scoreboard to catch up. 6-2-4. Tracy with that first 20. And Michael going a little bit short, and Garrett deals with that very nicely. We see a member of the Oxford Crokinole Club passing through, heading out now for the evening. We are closing into the end of this semifinal match. The Tracy's are a tie away from moving on to the finals. The Curb Rat's certainly not out of this yet, and oh, a mistake out of Barth, unfortunate. Garrett capitalizes with a nice bump and run, also leaving his disc in not a super pleasant spot for Jamie to deal with. Jamie able to get the off, very nice. Now the Curb Rats do have hammer in this match, but they are currently down two 20s. So they have some work to do. Barth unable to get the off there. But that black disc is not in a super nice spot for Garrett if that blue disc wasn't in the way. Oh, Garrett goes through the blue disc, gets some decent separation between his own on the board. And Jamie, yeah, I think he was going for that double, able to get one off, but rolls his out to the 10. I think Jeremy was hunting for a 20, but may have left an opportunity here for Barth. Yeah, very nice. Closing the distance on the cup. And Garrett with a valid shot. That's a decent miss, but there's a lot for Jamie to work with. So that one between the posts isn't necessarily a problem right now. They'll most likely have to deal with that at some point. They still have a 20 disadvantage to deal with. And three blue discs now on the board. Michael able to get the off, rolls away. Garrett should be able to get that from the outside. And loses his shooter. Starting to close the distance a little bit now. 
Kurt Bratz doing a nice job leaving difficult shots for Garrett and Jeremy. Jeremy able to get that, but doesn't get it off, leaving that black disc on the board. We are down to Michael's final shot. While they will have two black discs on the board, they'll probably need to get a 20 or oh. Michael gets the touch, but not able to demote that blue disc or get it off the board. Garrett and Jeremy taking a second to consider their options. Right now, the players are tied on the board, but the Curb Rats have a 20s disadvantage to overcome as well. Jeremy's advising Garrett not to go for that inside disc, and it looks like Garrett's taking up on that advice. Rolls down to the five, but as it stands on the board, if Jamie wants to win this round, the one option I see is a double and a 20 from the outside, taking those two outside blue discs off and rolling in for a 20. It's technically there, but an extremely tough shot. The other option would be go through his own disc, but no, that blue disc is uh, 10, so that wouldn't be enough. And he might also risk demoting his black disc there. Again, all the pressure is on this shot. Jamie can't afford a loss. You can't afford a tie. They need to win this round. And it's the double in the 20 that does it. See what he can do. And that is it. The Tracys have won this semifinal match and will be moving on to the finals of the Maryland Doubles Crokinol Championship. We see some final highlights. A few nice 20s from Garrett to kick off the round that got that strong lead. Again, an amazing match, and this was very back and forth. Even those last few rounds where the Tracys won, it was only by 5 or 10 points. So congratulations to both teams. Now stay tuned for the other semifinal match between the Beer View Mirrors Jason and Chet from the Extra Pint Crokinole Club up against the host club of Charm City, the Star Spangled Hammer, Zach Uffner and CJ Flaherty. My name is Garrett Tracy. Thank you for tuning into this coverage, and we'll see you at the next one.